Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so, um, today, Captain America in it for you. Um, although I heard that, um, they might be making a new, they might be finding a new Captain America, I, I, I doubt they could get a, a Brit to play one. But, uh, I hope this isn't too late, because Halloween was last weekend. Um, but today I wanted to talk about Hmm. About some costumes and whether they are culturally appropriate, I see, see whether they're just appropriate or not. There's been a lot of articles on Facebook recently uh, about. So there, there's three that really caught my attention. One is uh, people that still white people in particular that still use blackface and do that as a costume. Uh, Two was this um, father that dressed up as a Nazi and dressed up his son as uh, Hitler. And three was, I brought this up last time, three was, uh, is it inappropriate for kids to dress up um, as Moana for uh, Moana, the Hawaiian Disney princess? Um, now, let's let's deal with the last one first. Like the Moana one always bothered me. I've seen lots of articles uh, in the past that that we shared on Third Culture about you know girls wanted to have um, uh, tea parties where they all dressed up as geishas or they all dressed up um, you know something in some other culture that wasn't their own. Or you know even I I've I've heard about celebrities. Uh, dressing up cowboys and Indians, and they they uh, they're having to issue public apologies because um, because of cultural appropriation and, and people calling them out. Um, now, see, this is this is this is something that I I think I think doesn't get discussed because a lot of people. When they, when we hear that it's thrown out there that this is cultural appropriation and that you know these Native Americans or these Native Hawaiians shouldn't be taken advantage of or these Japanese shouldn't be taken advantage of by Americans or Western cultures or whatever and um, and it's cultural cultural appropriation taking their culture and using it for their advantage. Now I feel this just doesn't get discussed because no one wants to no one wants to say. Well, is it that bad? Because it's already thrown out there that it is bad. So everyone kind of just either jumps on that bandwagon or takes a step back and just goes, okay, I just don't want to have this conversation because I don't want to be seen as a bad guy. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to raise it for discussion and just say, what exactly is the problem with doing that? Because from my point of view, I think it's only a good thing when you elevate, um, you know, another's culture so that it can be shared with the rest of the world. And then if it's enjoyed so much that kids or anyone wants to replicate that because they appreciate that, then surely that's only a good thing. Now, if someone's taking advantage, of course that's not good. But kids dressing up, you know, kids dressing up as geishas, I just don't understand how is that wrong. Like, like, if not, they'll never have, they'll never have heard of a geisha. They might never know of Japanese culture. They, you, you might be stopping a kid from, from moving to Japan and having this, this whole love of, of Japanese culture and, and, and what, and what's, what's wrong with that? Um, you know, there's so many things that we can learn, and I think one of the problems with today's society, when we become so sensitive and then we don't even have these discussions, is that that it forces us into these bubbles that only, and these bubbles are not good and not healthy because it that is what causes the fear. Because then we're afraid of each other's cultures, right? Because, oh, I can't really appreciate it because I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to, culturally appropriate you. I want to, I, I better just stay in my bubble of safety where I know this is appropriate. I know this is my culture. Um, 
you know, like no one wants to take advantage of anyone else, but it, but we we should we should strive to live in a world where we can freely share and freely adopt one another's cultures. Okay, maybe you can say cowboys and Indians. It's historical, um, so maybe that's that's inappropriate, and that now that, that goes into the next point of um, dressing up as a Nazi. Now. That's a tough one because, because, you know, that's also about freedom of freedom of speech and expression. Um, it, it is it is tough because okay so, I mean personally I feel, if you want to dress up as a Nazi you want to dress up in KKK, you know put a hood on your head, go ahead because then at least the whole world knows how you feel about this stuff. Especially if you're very open about why you're doing it. Um, I much prefer to be aware of things or dangers or any negativity, to be aware of them rather than to, for them to be hidden and let them fester. Now, are we, are we saying by allowing these parents to dress their kids up, maybe they're influencing the minds of kids. That's one thing, that's that's a bit dangerous, but you know, you can't, can we tell, can we tell parents uh, how they should bring up their kids, right? Um, because that's that's also, you know, there's, there's certain boundaries on that, right? Because what if they're raising a kid in a certain religion that you don't agree with? You, you going to stop that? No, that's their prerogative, right? Um, totally depends on your stance and your viewpoint. Um, so either we have to be tolerant of everything, uh, or we're going to have to stop everything. Now I think we strive for, for tolerance. Now I think there are limits, because if you're incite, inciting hate or inciting violence, then of course that has to be stopped. But you can't have freedom of speech and freedom of expression without giving someone else's, excuse, give, giving someone else the right to express something that you disagree with. So can you say, yeah, go ahead, dress as you want, and then I'm going to disagree with you? Okay, but um, but you can't say no to it. Hmm, I don't know. It's a tough one. I think. I think that's. I, I. But again, I think these are the kind of things that should be discussed. And uh, what was the last one? Wearing blackface. Okay. Now this one. This one again. It's. It's on that line of. Does it? You know. Is it being respectful? Is it uplifting a culture or people, or is it just inciting negative negativity? Are you just looking for trouble, uh, violence? Now with blackface in particular. I don't know, like, if you're going to, and it's not just, like, it's not just for Halloween, it's just in general. I don't know, if you're going to go for, like, some historical figure, like Michael Jackson or something like that, and you went for the whole outfit, then, you know, maybe that makes sense. But the thing is, you can do Michael Jackson with the uniform, the glove, you don't need to, you don't need to do the face paint. Um, and one of the things I think that make make it okay if you did it is for you to take a character and then make it your own. This is and this is now I guess from an actor's point of view. Um, if if I take some attributes and then I make it myself, so it becomes something new. You know, so let's say for Michael Jackson, if I if I took his his uniform, his dance moves, his persona, his bravado, his his showmanship. And I wore that, I didn't need the face paint, and I became the Harry's version of Michael Jackson, then maybe that works. But to just imitate, would, I don't know, it depends, like, what's the intention? I don't know, it, it depends, because you have to allow... <sighs> I guess you can do it if you want to, but it just, it just says a lot about your character. Right, it says a lot about your your thinking behind it because maybe you just want to be a you know maybe you just want to provoke people. Anyway, these things I, I want to discuss. I do want to keep them under ten minutes um, because I need to put on Instagram. So uh, please uh, like, comment, let me know what you think. Thanks.